You know, in the land called Detroit, Michigan, we had a lot of great legendary music that came out of that city. You know, Motown Records, a lot of legendary artists came out of Detroit, Michigan, and hip hop is no exception. You know, we had great artists that came out of that city. Great things out of hip hop have come out of Detroit, Michigan. Like, it, it, you know, rappers who can, got good metaphors, simile, punchline, flow, beats, everything that it takes to be a great rapper. And, you know, this woman called Deja Lowe, this girl, it's like a future in the legend. She's a future legend right here. She's a big deal right now. She's one of the greatest rappers right now. I mean, how can you not, not like DJ Lowe? I mean, how do you not like her? She is literally one of the best things going on right now. I mean, no one, barely anybody can really touch her right now. Yeah, right, I mean, that's probably what all the dumbass retards online would think. Oh, DJ Lowe, she's great! No, motherfucker, she is not great. Because I've said this before, I listened to her music, just a little sample of it on the BET Hip Hop Awards of this year that just passed and did a review on that. And I said that she sucks, I don't know, I just said that she's really not that good as a music artist. But I never really listened to her music that well until now, uh, well, until recently. And I came to the conclusion that this DJ Loaf, DJ Loaf, she sucks, period. End of story. Okay, first of all, let me just get this out of the way. Just the name alone is just stupid. Dage Low DJ. I don't know how you say her name, and I quite frankly don't give a rat's ass. So don't be coming in the comments that you do. How you say her name? Because I don't care. I don't really give a fuck how you say the woman's name. All I just want to know is why is she even here? Why is she even rapping? Why is she considered actually good by the masses? She is overrated, overhyped, and another one of these rappers that is being told or we're, we're led to believe that this is what the future has in store for us. This is what we should be supporting today. BULLSHIT! This, this artist sucks. She's trash. There's nothing good with her. She's another one of these ghetto garbage ass rappers. For real, this person right here, Dage Loaf, is making black people look bad. With the whole gangster garbage. Man, get out of here, man. And, and the people keep saying that she's hot in the face. She looks attractive, she looks cute, when she looks like an eight-year-old boy. Are you gonna sit there and literally tell me with a straight face that this chick, that's like, what, how old is she, 23, 24 years old, when she looks like an eight, seven-year-old boy, with the short hair, boyish man features, how, do, how, do, how does that look sexy to you people? You know, it's the same kind of the same thing I said about Ariana Grande, but at least she looks like a woman. Where this Deja Lowe chick looks like a boy and she sounds like a boy. You know, her music is just trash. It's typical boring ass gangster rap nonsense. Her toting guns in her music videos. Like, yeah, yeah. Fucking shit out of here, man. Go get out of here. She's a, a definition of what a studio gangster is. Remember when Easy E said that Snoop and Dr. Dre are studio gangsters? Well, this is what exactly what a studio gangster is. And people, you know, always keep saying that people like Drake is fake. He's phony, you know, he's not a real thug. Rick Ross is a fake thug. Same shit is happening now, but you people don't seem to care. You know, it's like, you, you see this Dage Loaf chick running around acting like she's intimidating. She's hardcore, she's a badass. She actually never did any crime in her life, never been in trouble with the law. Never been associated with no drug activity, no gang activity, no criminal activities. She actually, well, just because she grew up in the fucking hood, that doesn't mean that you automatically are considered a gangster, a thug, a tough person. No. You could have been a person that was in the hood, but you always stayed in the house, always trying to read up on books and try to get an education, which is good. That's nice. That's great to get an education. That's great. But don't go around and be telling people in your songs that you're a tough, bad bitch and all this. Oh, Motherfucker, try me, try me. No, because that's not you. You was going to college. You wanted to become a goddamn nurse. How is that being badass? Try you, try you. Yeah, I try you, and you're and you're full of shit. That's what you are. Like you can see with her showing these guns and shit, and she talking. To... Like who are you? What are you doing? You're Dej Loaf. 
Who are you intimidating? Like, we're supposed to be intimidated by this fucking asshole. Yo, you're not tough. You're not cool. Alright? There's nothing memorable about this girl. She's just plain boring. That's how can people get into this? I don't understand. How can people literally sit there and support this, spend money, invest their time into this? I don't know, beats me. You know what? I truly think from the bottom of my heart that this Dage Loaf woman has to be literally one of the worst musical artists that ever came out of Detroit, Michigan. History. Ask yourself this question. I really want you to really ask yourself this question. Do you people really think that you're going to be listening to an artist like Dage Loaf for the next 40 years from now? Like, when you listen to stuff like I'm a Nazi, love wearing all black You should see my closet Cause if you ever disrespect me, pussy, don't be disrespect I said, woo, I said, I know, I know, I know Get out of here, you hack Do you honestly can really picture yourself for the next few decades? And not to mention her fucking singing is, 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 is sucks I seen you first You was looking at the way I move, yeah, yeah I made that move, couldn't resist I'm no fool, yeah, yeah Shut up! Shut up! It's terrible. Her singing is not good. She can't rap. She can't sing. My God. I mean, what? what is good about her? I can't find anything good about her. It sounds like a boy. She sings like shit. She's a fake thug, gangster, whatever the hell she's trying to be. With the whole, motherfucker, try me, try me. Fuck you, fuck you. You suck. Get out of my face. You're trash. And I'm tired of this shit. And you know what? I'm so sick and tired of hip hop so much now, the state of it, that I'm taking a break. I don't know how long it's gonna be, maybe two to four months, maybe a month or two, but I'm so sick and tired of hip hop. So if anybody's gonna come on the comment section and request me to do yet another shitty artist, another bad rapper, I'll to save it, I'm not doing it. The only problem is where he's at. I'm tired of hip hop. I'm, this, I'm being dead serious. This is from the bottom of my heart. I'm tired of rap music now, it's trash, and no wonder people keep saying we go back to the past, the, that's why I keep bringing up the past, because, not because I'm living in the past, it's because they got it right back then, in the 80s and the 90s, even in the early 2000s, but this generation sucks, it sucks dicks, motherfuckers like Dage Loaf, DJ Loaf of Bread, you wanna tell me that this is what the future is, Dage Loaf, Dage Loaf, she's great! And, and save the whole thing with, oh, she's making a lot of money, she's great. No, because $20,000, $50,000 is not great, all right, compared to what real mainstream artists is and the whole argument, you're a hater, you're a troll. No, okay, I want music to become better, and this is not music. What well, is music? It's trash, and I'm tired of listening to it. I'm tired of being exposed to it every day. If you truly want my thoughts on what a real Detroit rapper is, at least in this day and age, in this generation, I have to say stick with Danny Brown. Don't be fooled by cornball, jerk-off ass clowns like this. God, this music today sucks.